So, some quick Sunday news today, folks. Quite interesting as well, and one that is sure to spark a debate in the comments section. DC, love them or hate them, have been pushing forward massively recently with their foray into the shared universe on film. Which was initially fantastic news. You have a property with perhaps two of the largest and favoured superheroes that are recognised on a worldwide scale, finally getting the chance to appear on screen together, just as they did in the comics. Incredible, right? Kinda. A lot of DC fans, of the comics more specifically, will admit that Batman vs Superman wasn't what they were hoping for, and so will many average moviegoers as well. Whatever you think of the movie, it also seems that the head of DC also agrees with those people that were somewhat underwhelmed with the movie. Speaking recently to Vulture on their podcast, Abraham Reisman stated the following. That was actually a quote that didn't show up in the finished piece, but that Diane Nelson gave me. It was to the effect of, we are a director-driven place, and Zack Snyder had a vision that didn't necessarily sync up with what our vision of these characters is. But we respect that he wanted to go for that, and that's part of our philosophy. So this is quite revealing stuff here, and as said, one that surely will spark debate. But more importantly, it begs the question, as a business, why you would allow something so polar opposite to what you envisage for your property to be put to film. Why on earth would you do that? Regardless of having that as your mantra or not, surely that is one of the worst business ethics to have. Even if an employee's vision differs from ours, us, the employer, we will still let them go ahead anyway. Alright then, so it may seem that unless Zack Snyder changes his general vision and direction, it will be unlikely he will be coming back to the DC Universe anytime soon. Which does add up, considering DC have been striving recently to change the image of this dour and sombre tone in their movies and add some levity, which is very apparent in the recent releases of Wonder Woman and even the promos for Justice League. So what do you make of this news? As said, love or hate the movies, that's not what's been said here. The main take home and discussion point is actually the fact DC allowed a director to go ahead and make a movie that completely differed from their vision. Baffling. Either way, let me know all your thoughts on this down below in the comment section and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more movie news in the future. I've been Mr H and until next time, I'll catch you in the comment section.